guys. This is Brian with Thunder Laser USA. So we've had a couple of uh, people uh, report that the uh, when they go into the calibrate camera lens and uh, choose their light burn camera, um, they're not getting the drop down here. Uh, it only gives you the choice to do the full calibration, which is the dots uh, pattern, uh, which is the, the pain point for this whole thing. Uh, now this camera, this is a five megapixel camera list you see here. Um, it reads the uh, resolution of the camera, uh, of the light burn camera, and that's how it determines these presets. Um, and uh, the camera that I have in Odin uh, is a five megapixel camera. So that's why these are showing up. Uh, all of our cameras um, are the 4K cameras. So it'll be a 4KW95 for the Nova 35 and under. Um, and then a 4KW110, uh, I believe, for uh, the Nova 51 and 63. And those the, are the ones that we've been seeing this from uh, a time or two. So anyway, if you have this where you do not have the drop down first, uh, go in and make sure that you don't have your camera set to rotate 90 degrees. Make sure that's turned off. That can affect it. Um, and then what you can do is uh, open up this knowledge base article. And, uh, let me pull that in real quick on the uh, portal. And I believe it has to do with presets. So I'm just going to type in presets. So here we go. Thunder cam lens correction, uh, and here it is if it's missing. This is the one we're looking for. And uh, you'll notice there's some documentation here, and this video will be here uh, when it gets done. And here's the links to the cameras and the, and the list. So in essence, what you're going to do is pick the camera that you have. In my case, I have a Nova 35, so I'm going to pick the 4KW95, and I'm going to download that profile. And then I can go back into Lightburn, and I'm going to right-click over here in my preview window, uh, or you can go up to Edit. Uh, tools and uh, go into calibrate no actually you do have to do it that way anyway uh, right click over here in the preview window and go to import camera settings and then navigate to that file that you just downloaded for the for your corresponding camera once you do that it's loaded all the lens calibration now you still have to do this part the camera alignment so as soon as you do that, go ahead and click your camera alignment and go ahead through this. And this part will not be bad. This is where it's going to project this, uh, you know, on a <coughs> piece of scrap that you have. And you want to make sure that it's autofocused and try to use autofocus with the camera. Uh, you may need to scale this up. This is an 8x8 right now. If you've got a Nova 51 or a Nova 63, uh, you may want to bump that up 150, 200, as big as you can get it. The bigger you get this, the uh, more accurate it's going to be. And if you hit frame, uh, it'll frame it, but it'll also project this onto here so you can actually get a visual on where those test targets, you know, uh, where those crosshairs are going to go to give you an idea of scale. Uh, and then you just set it up appropriately. The material thickness doesn't matter. Uh, start and run it. And then you can go to next and capture it and just click your uh, crosses. Your, right in the middle of your crosshairs and uh, set your points and you're good to go and uh, after you do that you want to right click and export your camera settings save them somewhere and call them you know good camera profile or something like that and as long as the position of your camera or the position of your lid or something like that you know uh, doesn't change physically with the camera location or or its distance from the, the autofocus point the focal plane um, then you shouldn't have to redo your alignment. So anyway, hope that helps. Thanks.